Hey yo, what is going on YouTube? I am back once again with yet another episode of Showdown Live for you guys and um Gyarados has recently dropped down to the UU tier and I decided I wanted to make a team around it and uh I decided to make a defensive Gyarados. Uh it's really great. Uh it has T Wave so it can shut down uh very fast Pokemon such as uh Choice Scarf, Hydreigon and Beedrill. Also another mod that I could easily uh, stop in his tracks with the uh, defensive T-Rip Gyarados. So let's go ahead and find a match. Um, I'll show you guys a team as we find a match here in a second. Okay, so here we are. Um, we got Donphan, Stealth Rock, Ice Shard, Rapid Spin, and Earthquake. I did have Toxic on it, but I decided Earthquake would be better because I could hit harder. Um, I got Choice Scarf Hydreigon. I got Choice Banded uh, Entei, I have Espeon, Sashak, Psychic, Grass Knight, and Shadow Ball. Uh, Grass Knight is there to hit this guy, hit uh, Mega Blastoise. Um, so yeah, Grass Knight's pretty powerful and I got Mega Beedrill as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into this. I'm going to lead off with my Beedrill. Um, so yeah. So I don't think this thing is running max speed. It shouldn't. I don't think Mega, I don't think Mega Blastoise runs max speed. So I'm gonna go ahead and Mega Evolve and then uh, hit him up with the Yui. Bam! I'm gonna switch on to my Gyarados as he goes for probably a Scald. That shouldn't matter to me because I rest. If he does get the burn, I rest. So yeah. Um, I also have Sleep Talk and Waterfall. So yeah, this uh this set um has not become one of my favorite sets. Uh, it goes to Heliolus. That's fine. Uh. I could switch in the Dawn fan, but that's kind of a problem for me. So, um, this thing really stops me on tracks. So I don't really have a check for it, but I guess I'll switch on my Hydreigon right here. He goes with Volt Switch. That's fine. I do have a uh, Choice Scarf on this. So, um, if he comes in with Floor Kiss, I'm going to hit him with the U turn and, uh, goes into Crocodile. Um,. Kind of a problem. I'll go ahead and drop a Draco on it. Almost kills it. Goes to Dragon Claw. Almost takes me out. I'm gonna switch out into my Dawn Fan now because I really want my Hydreigon on alive. Uh, so I'm gonna switch on into my Dawn Fan. He also decides that he wants his uh, Pokemon alive, so that's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and set up my Rocks here and um. Go ahead and get some damage on this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and stack my Dawn fan here. I'm just want some damage. Um, so yeah, earthquake, then ice shard. I guess he was predicting the ice shard. Um, that's cool too. I feel like he's gonna go for rest. I mean, not rest, rish. Um, but he didn't. I'm fine to bring in my Espeon here. Uh, Yep, go for Psyshock. Uh, I'm running both Psyshock and Psychic. Psychic is because uh, I can hit um, defensive uh, Pokemon and Psyshock to hit special defensive Pokemon. So, yes, this I, this uh, Espeon is really powerful. We'll go ahead and reveal the Grass Knot. Boom. Blastoise goes down. Uh, Kruger dies, comes in, dies by the Stealth Rocks. This thing really shuts down opponents' teams like easily. Entei. Entei. Defensive. Special defensive. Could go for a psychic. But I think I'm going to switch on my Gyarados. Who's that guy? His is probably Choice Bandit as well. Um. I doubt he's staying in. Yeah. I doubt he's staying in. So I'm going to switch on my Beedrill here. And, um. Go for the U turn. Yep. That kills. And, uh, I'm going to switch on my Hydreigon. Since it is Scarf, I could, you know, hit whatever. I'm using Lucario. It's probably extreme speed. So. Yeah. Bullet Punch. Okay. Um, Ante could come in, fire off a Sacred Fire, 
Or even, actually not. Sacred Fire, yeah. Maybe a Stone Edge. Or a Body Slam, get a Paralysis. I'll go for Sacred Fire. Yep. He stayed in with Lucario and killed. So, yeah. And, uh, Espeon basically wins this, so. I'm in the clear. Goes Extreme Speed. Alright, well, I get a crit for that. But, uh, GG. Let's go ahead and find a new match. Ah, man. Uh, this team is really powerful. Um, hmm. I have Grass Knot for this thing. There's no way he's living it. Uh, Carvantula. Okay, so if he's. Hmm. Carvantula. Okay, I have a plan. Bam, bam. Yeah. Cool. And switch back out into my insect. Cause I could wrap I could uh rapid spin the sticky reps later. Mmm, that's not cool. Go ahead and say good fire. I don't care if he gets the reps up. Um Dude! Got 90 95 accuracy. I should have missed that. Oh my god. No, come on. We can't be having that. We really can't. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna wrap a spin right here. Um get the revs off. Um since he does have revs on his side of the field, I uh, I have a huge advantage after I get rid of this Evangela. For some reason, I'm over here missing Sacred Fire, which isn't nice. Because if I got Sacred Fire, he thundered, I would have came back in the Dawn Fan, Rapid Spin in the Ice Shard, and I would have killed it. But no. No, 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 no. I'll go for Earthquake just in case he goes to Sticky Rep again. Bam. I'm going to Rapid Spin again. And then Ice Shard would take him out. But he gets a crit. Amazing. Fucking amazing. Oh my god, he gets a crit. That's so amazing. You turn better kill. Alright. Okay, so we're both at disadvantages. Well, we're both on it's like there's no reps on the field. I really wanted that to have I really wanted that to be in my favor right there, but no, everything wanted to go bad. <sighs> Let me U turn out into my Gyarados. He's definitely gonna go for something like counter. He has Rocky Helmet as well. And for Earthquake. I'm gonna switch on to my SPO now. And then, um, go for Grass Knot, killing this thing. And then, goes for Recover. Grass Knot should take it out in one hit. It, Cragside should be a heavy Pokemon. And it's four times effective. He did switch out though. show his weight why okay there it is 75 so yeah it should do a decent amount um i don't want to i don't want to switch in my beedrill and give outplayed that's a problem so i'll bring my hydragon yeah Foul play was coming. I, I felt it. Go ahead and U turn here. I don't care about that. I'm gonna Thunder Wave here. Man, dude. If the sticky reps were not on my side of the field, I would have been in a great position. Great. I should be able to stall this thing out with Gyarados. Yeah, I should be able to stall him out. And I'm paraflinching him, so even better. Uh, I'm going to wall for one more time, and then I'm going to rest next turn. And then start sleep talking. 
Actually, yeah, I'm a rest here. I'm gonna rest here, get rid of the toxic, and he probably goes. Well, he gets par paralyzed again. It sucks. But I can sleep talk here. Hopefully, get waterfall. Yep. Flinch. Nope. Gets off a of bridge, which is fine. Uh, that's absolutely fine by me. What's the thunder wave? That sucks. Get paralyzed again. Rich has 16. My rest also has 16. But he's probably going to be using. Um. Oh wow! I was not counting my turns. Oh, that did a lot. That's because of the, his attack got lowered, so my attack is basically higher. So far, I'll play Desmo. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Oh, he has Hill Bell. Ah, uh, this is not a. It's not an entertaining match. What can this thing do to me? Waterfall is neutral, and I have how much left? 21 more. 20 now because I'm about to hit one. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and start this timer. He's taking a pretty long turn. Oh yeah, this thing has walking him. That's right. All right, so I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna go ahead and rest right here. Rest up. It's waterfall. I'm gonna bring in my hydragon. Fire off a Draco meteor. Yeah. Brings in Darmanitan. Will it live? I don't know, I'll, I'll go for U-turn. And then switch on to my Gyarados. So he also went for U-turn. Yeah. I felt like he would've lived. Man, it would've been so nice if I had rocks up. He's probably gonna set up a sword dance here. Be faster, he gets toxic boost. That raises P, uh, his his physical attacks have oh my lord oh I'll protect here Is he immune to toxic no he just took some damage that's right okay um I'm not quite sure if I need my Beedrill actually I think I really do I think I need everybody to win this so poison jab has to kill. That's cricket attack. Shit. But poison jab has to kill. Which it did. Um His Darmanitan is most likely choice. It's come comes in with crack sire. He's trying to kill me. But I'm gonna go for drill one. Hopefully he goes for like recover or something. That does dan what? That makes contact? Come on man. Okay, so I'm, I'm bringing a uh, Hydreigon in. I'm gonna go ahead and fire off a Draco Meteor on this thing. Okay. Fire off another one. And another one. Okay. That's good. Man, I have no idea how I'm gonna deal with Umbreon. No idea how I'm dealing with this thing. 
Go for toxic. Go for toxic. Go for toxic. You know, foul play. There's no way I could deal with this thing. Absolutely no way I could deal with this thing. Who's that guy? Yep. This was a disgusting match. God, if Don Fan did not go down, or actually if my Ente didn't go down. Five, four, three, two. If he doesn't make a move, come on. Yeah, I might as well just walk out now. Alright. Alright, um... Ente seems like my best choice. I could just fire off a sac uh, sacred fire right off the bat. Um, yeah, I could just go ahead and fire off a sacred fire. It brings in Mian Shao. Um, Mian Shao. This is probably gonna fake out. Oh, actually, goes for U-turn. Most likely, search nine to run heat. I have Don Fan in the back. Uh, actually, I don't. I, I got. Hmm. What's gonna eat up a hit? My Dragon is. Um, yeah. What's a will o -wisp? Um. Go for U turn. He can't touch me, so he's probably gonna switch out. on the Snorlax. Comes in with Snorlax. Um Alright, so I'm gonna make it evolve you turn switch on to my Espeon and then psychic him. Cause he's probably gonna go for curse. That's the set that I'm thinking he is. Yeah. Now I'm gonna go for Psychic here. It doesn't take him out. He goes for another curse and this will take him out. Good. Good. Everything's good here. All right, we took out the Snorlax easily and he forfeits. Um, I guess he had, I don't know. Uh, he might have had something that could have taken me out. But taking, well, could have won him the game. I don't know. It's my rank. 11.57. Wait, that's not it. 10.94. 3 and 3. Hmm. Oh, I'm on my Pokemaster J account. Okay. That was on my other account. Um. Captain Banana. Ente seems like the best choice, kinda. Yeah, Ente's the best. Um, never mind. Okay, switch out into Hydreigon. Um, actually, Espeon. I feel like he's not gonna attack. Yes. Ha ha. Okay. I got a crit, but I don't think that mattered too much. Espeon is a very uh, strong Pokemon. It's probably not gonna predict this. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. I love the Grass Knot. I love the Grass Knot. I knew he wasn't seeing that coming. I love Grass Knot Espeon so much, man. So much. Okay. Look at Mega Sceptile. Uh, 
Uh, defense 75. So side shock is the better move. Dragon Pulse, I eat it up. Side shock, and he's basically dead. Okay, nice. Nice. Does Hydreigon outspeed this choice scarf? Let me look it up real quick. Let me bring out the calculator. Okay, I gotta make sure that it outspeeds. Alright, so 324 times 1.5. 46, it does outspeed. Okay. So I guess I'm gonna let my Espeon die. Um I could have used it for a sack later. But I guess now I'm gonna go ahead and U-turn here. Get some if he switches out, I get uh, momentum. If he stays in, I he kill I, uh, he dies. So Richie decides to stay in. Um Ante seems like the best choice for me right here. Actually B Joe might be even better because I can mega evolve. If he brings an Infernape, I protect. Um, I'm wondering if his Infernape is choice or not. I have to check that out. But I'm going to make you all protect. Uh, if he does bring an Infernape, I'm going to switch out to Gyarados. If he brings out anything else, I'm going to go ahead and U-turn. Um, so, yeah. Ah, man. Okay, so he brings in the S uh, the Mammoth Swine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and protect. Probably gonna set up rocks. No, he goes to earthquake. I doubt his choice or something. So I'm gonna U-turn here, bring in my Gyarados, and then um, I'm gonna T-wave. I feel like his choice banded. He's not. It's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and waterfall. I was T-waving just in case uh, uh Tender Crew comes in. Go to knockoff. That's fine. Knock off, and then he's probably gonna switch out into Tentacruel. So, hmm. brings in Tentacruel. I'm gonna uh, Thunder Wave. Actually, if he brings in anything, I'm Thunder Waving regardless. Infernape Thunder Wave is helpful, very helpful. But he does bring in Infernape. Um, it's probably Thunder Punch, yes. So Gyarados goes down, that's fine. Um, I feel like he's not Choice Scarf. But we're just gonna have to check and see with Donphan. Actually, Donphan wins this for me. He has Choice. Earthquake. This thing's pretty fast for its, uh, this thing's pretty fast. I'm gonna bring in Hydreigon here. Was a scald. Yeah, cause Donphan wins. I need that thing at full. At full. Oh, for Dark Pulse, I'm gonna have to switch out now. I'm gonna get some damage in. Uh, see what he goes for. Oh, I got a crit. I'm sorry. Oh, Swords Dance. Shit. So he wasn't choice. Okay, I got a plan. Does this, does this thing learn Earthquake? Please tell me it doesn't. If it doesn't learn Earthquake, I'm in the clear. Mag Punch won't kill. Close Combat might. Actually, it will. Um, close Combat will kill. But if he... Um, ooh, he has to have Close Combat. Thunder Punch. Goes to Thunder Punch. I win. Ooh, God. That was a that was a scary game because of that mon. That monster right there. Okay, so where we at? We're in 25 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and end the video off right here. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you're new, subscribe and uh, peace.